The complex of Sultan Hassan was built between 1357 and 1364 since the beginning of the Mamluk period in Cairo, Egypt. The whole building complex is 150 meter long, 68 meter wide and 38 meter high and is built of cut stone. The complex consists of the Friday Mosque, the mausoleum of the Sultan, the four Iwans with a central courtyard, four madrasas, and a monumental main portal in the northeast. The monumental gate is impressive because of its size. It is 38 meter high and 25 meter wide and is richly decorated with arabesque and geometrical ornaments. From here, we can get through the vestibule and the passage to the core of the system. There is a courtyard built according to the four Evans scheme. The ritual ablution fountain is in the middle of the courtyard. In the area between the Evans are the madrasas. Each of them has its own courtyard and the cells for the students. The largest Ivan of the courtyard is located in the southeast of the complex. Behind it, there is the mausoleum. It is a square building, freestanding on three sides crowned by a dome and consisting of only one large hall. The dome is made of wood and has a diameter of 21 meters. It was constructed in 1671 after it had collapsed. Two minarets, one in the south and one in the north, flank the mausoleum. The northern minaret collapsed in 1659 and was replaced in 1671 by a smaller one still existing today. The southern minaret is an impressive 81 meters high. The commissioner of the building was Sultan Hassan, the 16th Sultan of the Mamluk dynasty and the seventh and last son of Sultan Al Nasir Muhammad. Sultan Hassan ascended the throne at the age of 13 and ruled in two periods of governance, one from 1347 to 1351 and the second one from 1355 to 1361. He was only 27 when he was murdered. The complex is equipped with numerous inscriptions in different parts of the buildings, from the main portal to the mausoleum. Most of the inscriptions contain Quranic verses, mostly dealing with the praise of God. In praise and prayer, the believers worship Allah and praise his greatness and deeds. One of these places is the massive mehrab of Eastern Iwan. The mehrab contains a double semicircular niches. Its sides consist of slender white marble columns with gilded leaf-shaped capitals. Both arches are veneered with arch stone in dark blue, red and white, so-called abla patron. The curved inscription which runs from the right half dome imposed block along the curve of the half dome to the left imposed contains a verse from Surah Al-Baqarah praising Muhammad. The golden inscription that forms the frame of the mehrab arch is curved in flute ductus and consists of verses from Surah Al-Imran emphasizing the need for prayer. Indeed, in the creation of the heavens and the earth and the alternation of the night and the day are signs for those of understanding, 
who remember Allah while standing or sitting or lying on their sides and give thought to the creation of the heavens and the earth, saying, Our Lord, you did not create this aimlessly. Exalted are you. Then protect us from the punishment of the fire. Our Lord, indeed, whoever you admit to the fire, you have disgraced him. And for the wrongdoers, there are no helpers.